Hey everyone, um, so today I'm going to show you how to crochet this dishcloth pattern. Um, I did one in a solid color and one in two colors. And they both basically work the same except for I made color changes here and this one here. When I did the edging, I counted my last row of the pattern as part of my edging. So when the pattern says to work the edging, I started here and I just worked around these three edges right here. That way I still had two, sing two rows of single crochets after the triple crochets and two rows of single crochets here and as well as in the middle. But with this one here I had three rows of single crochets just because the one row was done with the contrasting color but I still have two rows in the yellow and two rows in the yellow here. And I'm using a number four worsted weight, 100% cotton yarn, and an I 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. And to get started, we're just going to make a slip knot, and then we're going to chain 20. I just want to keep these stitches loose. Okay, and then we're going to single crochet into the second chain from the hook. And then single crochet into the next chain. And we're just going to keep doing that all the way across. Okay, and we should have 19 single crochets, and then we're going to turn our work. We're going to chain two, or you can chain two and then turn your work. Um, these chains do not count as a stitch, so we're going to work a double crochet into the first three stitches here. And then we're going to chain one and we're going to skip the next stitch and then we're going to double crochet into the next three stitches. And then we're just going to keep repeating that all the way to the end. Just going to chain one, skip the next stitch, and double crochet into the next three stitches. Okay, and now if you want to work this in a solid color, you would just chain one and turn. Or turn and then chain one and keep going in the same color. But I'm going to show you in the contrasting color. So I'm going to join the next color in the last step of this stitch here. So I'm just going to grab my new color here. And I'm just going to wrap the yarn over and pull it through. Okay, and then I'm going to
turn. Actually, what I do is I just wrap this yarn over and then you turn your work, chain one. And then we're going to single crochet into the first two stitches here. And this is where it gets a bit tricky here. So we're going to we're going to skip this stitch. We're going to wrap the yarn over twice. We're going to triple crochet into this stitch two rows below. And we want to work the stitch entirely in front of the chain one here. So we want to bring the hook back out at the front of the fabric, yarn over and pull through and then finish the stitch. And we're going to work two more triple crochets into this stitch. So wrap the yarn over Okay, and then the next stitch we're going to work in the row below again. So we're going to skip this one right here. And then we're going to uh, single crochet into the middle double crochet here. Okay, and then we're going to do that again. We're going to skip the next double crochet. We're going to wrap the yarn over twice. And we're going to go into this skipped stitch two rows below. Once again, we're going to skip this one, single crochet into the middle, double crochet, skip the next double crochet, three triple crochets, Okay, and then once you get to the end, we will skip this double crochet and single crochet into the last two double crochets. And then we're going to turn our work and we're just going to single crochet across. One single crochet in first stitch and into each stitch across. Okay, so here we are at the last step of the last single crochet and we're just going to grab our first yarn again and we're going to yarn over and pull through. That completes the last single crochet and then I'm just going to grab that yarn and wrap it over again. Turn and chain one. And we're going to single crochet in the first stitch and single crochet across.
Okay, so that completes row 5, and we're going to start at row 2 again, and we're going to repeat rows 2 to 5 until we have 17 rows. Okay, so this is my 17 rows, and I have two rows of single crochets above the triple crochets here, and I have one row of single crochets below the triple crochets. And if I would have worked this in a single color, I would count my last row that I just made here as my edging. So this would technically right here, this would be my first um, stitch in the row for the edging. And then I would work my first corner here. So I've already got one stitch in the last stitch here. And I'm just going to work two more stitches. This is if I was to do it in one solid color. So that would give me my corner. And then I turn my work and I would single crochet evenly across. Work three single crochets into the corner stitch here. Single crochet all the way across. Three single crochets in the corner. And then working over the tail ends and these strands here you would single crochet across and then you would work another two single crochets into this corner right here so you already have one stitch you would work another two stitches into here and then join the round with a slip stitch and fasten off okay so then to do your edging if you're working with two colors you just want to do your 17 rows and then we're going to work the edging around all four sides. And to get started, we just want to make sure the right side is facing. We're going to chain one. And then we're going to work two single crochets into the last single crochet that we just made. And then we're going to turn our work and we're just going to single crochet evenly up, evenly across. Okay, then once we get to the corner here, you just want to work three single crochet into the corner. And then single crochet evenly across. Once again, once we're at the corner, we're going to work three single crochets. Turn our work and we're going to single crochet along this side.
Okay, and we're back to our very first stitch. We're just going to make one more stitch right here. And then we're going to join that with a slip stitch in the first stitch that we made. And then we're going to fasten off. Okay, and then all that's left to do is weave in your ends. 